Hello critters and welcome back to the Crafty Critter. Um, so I'm going to, in this video, kit up um, I Love You A Latte from Fan Sales. So um, here's the drills. I'm also going to need scissors, some tape, my Gorilla Glue, a label, with, um, and I've already pre-written this out, that it's, um, Love You Latte from Fan Sales, so you would have needed a pen to do that with, but I've done that already. Um, a Ziploc bag, and, where did it go? I'm going to use this foam roller as well, and I'm going to use this box with these containers, and these are the um, large containers from the single containers from the Dollar Tree. Uh, you've seen this box in a previous video I've used as well, so that is everything we are going to need. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to put some of this stuff aside here. I'm not going to need a lot of this until the end here. Alright, so the drills up here and our tape right there. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at my tables. I've got um, one at the top here that has like plenty of room on this side. And then I've got one over here. And um, it doesn't have a whole lot of room on either side, so I'm going to actually clip this table off. Now, um, for the table, let me move. Here. Okay, for the table, you have the number of colors. We have 17 colors, and then you have the symbol as well as the color code. Now, I'm not sure what color code they're using because it does not say... And if my camera will focus in on that, well, the tiny lettering, and unfortunately you can't see it, it just says color. So I don't know um, what they're referring to as color because that's not saying DMC. So anyway, um, I only need the symbol and the color code right now. So that's what we are going to cut off. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut it all off. That way I don't get it mixed up as to what's happening. So I don't mind cutting the tables off of these. If I have an extra table, I'm going to do it. Um, which is why I like to see two of them on each canvas. But if I don't, then I run this through my copy machine and I make a copy of the table so that I can have this available. So I'm going to set Love You Latte up here for right now, and we are going to clip all of these off of here. So I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to cut all of these off. I will be right back. That way you're not sitting here seeing me endlessly cut. Alright, so I have all of these cut apart, and I have a little scrap here that we can toss now. So what I'm going to be doing now is taking each of my containers and my little tape, and we are going to be cutting off little pieces of tape, taking, picking up a color, doesn't matter which one. Sorry, they're all kind of sticking together right now. Pick it up and put it on my container. And that's it. So I'm going to do that and then I will be right back. All right, I'm back here. I have um, all of the jars set up. So the next thing I do after the jars is to take all the drills and we've got to get them in on the containers. So, so if you take them out of the bag that they came in, I saved this bag. 
for the unkitting process. So I'm going to tuck that in back here so I don't lose it. Right. And then after that, we're just going to go through that here. And I'll do the first one with you. So um, that is the end. So we're going to be at the very beginning with number one. So you take one. Clip it off. We're going to open up the container. Clip it open. Pour it in. Now, there we go. Oops, just got one that won't pop, back, pop out of there. Sorry, we got it stuck one. Boy, it's really stuck there. Hold on. Let's see if that helps get it out now. There we go. Alright. So I'm going to do that with the rest of the colors and I'll be right back. Hey, Critter. Okay, I'm on number five and I noticed there's four bags of five. So what I'm going to do is actually open up... Um, one, well, okay, let's open up one of these bags. Because my, uh, if, for multiple bags, I usually don't open them all up at first. You know what? I think I can open up the second bag and get that in there and then put the other two bags. So the other two bags will just get tucked in here and I know that they will be there when I am ready. When I basically have emptied the container, then I'll refill it with the two bags and keep going. on though but there is definitely no room in the end okay I'll be right back to fin as I finish these okay. so I've got that done all of these bags that the drills came in go to the truck you don't need them I don't want them so our next step is to that I do to prep beforehand is um, we're going to take this label and we're going to take this, um, Ziploc bag. We're going to, label goes on the bag and let's set that aside for a second. And the next thing that we do is that I'm going to be taking out a drill of each color and I am going to be gluing it down next to this table. Um, I like that because if you get a drill that, okay, got left out on the table and I'm working with some of these and there's a lot of gray tones in here. Um, so this way I can like, okay, I found an extra drill. I like to make sure that I save anything that I find, or maybe you got a runaway color and we mixed in with another color. I like to kind of put that with it. Um, and sometimes the chart actually helps so that you can take that missing drill, set it down next to it and find out where it belongs. It's really great. It's really awesome. And say hello to Athena. Hi, baby girl. Say hello to the camera. She's knocking things off my walls. Okay, so. All right, Athena. So I'm going to do that. Another thing I was thinking of, this is 12, number two, uh, the 12 color on the list. It's this um, slanted symbol. Um, color number is 762. It's not white. It's like a gray. But I'm looking at this on the chart. 
Athena's back. Hey, baby girl. Oh, my precious girl. Okay, and I'm looking at this, and there, there's not many, but there's some right here on the cup, and it appears in random spots throughout the lettering. And I'll bring this up. I'm not sure if you can see it on the light. But you can see if there's random spots, if it weren't for the glare, that they show up on. And I'm almost thinking that I would like to switch this color out for an, a similar AB color. To add a little extra shine and kind of like sparkle to this painting. Especially since, okay, see it's like in the foam of the cup. I just think that would be in both cups and I just think that would be really cool to do so I'm gonna look um, and I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna find out if this is the acrylic hi Athena um, if this is the acrylic code number that they've done on this painting or if this is a true DMC color and uh, and then I'm gonna look for a match in a um, or a close match in an AB AB drill and see if I can get that in. If not, then I'll just go with this and kind of just deal with it. But I'm going to try and see what I can find. All right, so I'm going to basically at this point kind of, um, unfortunately, here, everybody want to better look at Athena. Hi, baby girl. All right, I'm going to get Athena in my craft room here because we are uh, going to work with, um, super glue and I don't want her to be around for that safety or first with all of our critters so I'm going to do that and um, I'm going to super glue all of the gems on it's going to take me a little bit of time it'll be a matter of seconds for you guys and then I'll come back on and show you that and then we will finish packaging up our painting um, and put that away so I'll be right back all right, I am back. I have all of the colors on, and I'm going to try to adjust the brightness here a little bit. Oh, that did not work. Oh, that worked a little bit better. All right, so you can see all the different colors, and, um, and that's why I like this, too, because it's really fun to see all the different colors that are going to go into your painting right next to each other. And you can see there's a lot of dark um, colors, a lot of grays. That number 12 is the one I'm looking to replace. Um, and I did look it up online. It is a DMC color. That 762 apparently I think is a DMC color. Because um, then when I popped it in online, um, it came up as a DMC color of very light pearl gray. I could not find a, a B gem similar to the color. Um, but as you're looking at it right here, it looks very white. So I'm thinking of replacing it with a white AB. Um, so definitely something I'm pondering in my mind. And when I start working on this canvas, I will definitely fill you in on the decision as to if I did go with that or not. So I will be um, right back after this um Blue dries. Hi critters, I am back here. So we have this all dry now and um, I wanted to show you in better lighting here now that it's dry um, the colors. And here's that one that I wanted to replace. So I went over to Joanne's um, since I had to let this dry for a while overnight and I picked up the uh, Diamond Dots color 5001, which is the, um, you can see it there, it's the Aurora Borealis White. So this is what we're going to replace that color with. And that I think is going to um, really add something special to this painting. So um, we're going to slip this in our kit here. And the last thing we're going to do to finalize the kit up on this, because um, it'll be a couple of weeks before I start it, so I'm going to put this on a foam roller. Oh my god, yes I am! 
I hope all the diamond painting that, or painters in the world are not cringing when they're watching this part of the video. But anyway, we all have our own ways. This is mine. So, and the reason I don't mind doing this is because since it is, um, since it's poured glue, um, I'm not having to worry about, um, the rivers or anything getting damaged on the painting, which is why I don't mind rolling it up this way. All right. So we're going to take our box here and we're going to need to close this. We're going to take our Ziploc bag that we have uh, labeled for this painting. Painting goes in on an angle goes in, and yes, for this one it's probably not going to close, but that's okay, um, because it, it, it's it's just fine. I'm okay with it. Um, actually, it'll probably close, and then the painting will just stick out a little bit, which I'm fine with that. So, um, there we go. There's the kit up for that one. So I have um, Love You Latte kitted up, and I have, this one is Sandy Shat. Um, shells by Paint with Diamonds. This one probably will never ever get done. And this one's just kitted up in um, the bags. Um, and the reason why this one will probably never get done is um, I hated the first two that I bought. Um, I bought three with the paint from Paint with Diamonds, and the first two I did were horrible. Um, the gem quality, um, the canvas itself, nothing sticks to the canvas, so I probably will never do that. And then here's our other fan sale, um, the Crystal Mandala. Then that one is kitted up and ready to go. And the last one, we have one more to kit up, so I'll do a separate video probably on that one. And then I will have four kitted up and ready to go. Um, and that only leaves my... Um, the one I'm currently working on, which um, well, I'm going to leave these over. So I'm currently have kitted up um, in my Craftmates. This is Starry Night um, by Diamond Dots. And I um, have been working on this one for a while, but I took time off to do other paintings. Um, so, and now I'm back to doing this one, which I'm hoping to complete real soon. Unfortunately, I lost all of my pictures and everything that I had saved up for the, um, kind of like the progress on this one, but I'll just show you a glimpse. So I have all of this section done. I'm currently working on the town area here which I should have completed in another week. And then it's just, I'm going to go in and do this, um, this river here of white, like the lighted swirl river here. And then I'm going to break these up into two other sections and do that at the top of those two. Um, so this should be completed by the end of July here. So I have that one. And then I, the other one I don't have kitted up because this one is, um, the Starry Night's taken up all of my space in my um, largest storage container, which is this one. Um, I can't kit up um, Love It It's Darkest from uh, Diamond Art Club. So um, once this one is finished, then I can kit up that one as well. And then everything in my house will be kitted up. So um, I don't keep a huge storage of paintings on hand. I just keep what I can manage on hand, and that's how I work. So um, thank you for joining me this this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in uh, the next video. Thanks.